Okay, to start Demon Slayer off, Tanjiro goes to sound sell charcoal. As he's going back up the mountain, a man tells him to sleep in his shack for the night so he doesn't get attacked by demons. In the morning, Tanjiro goes back up the mountain and he gets a smell of blood, so he rushes back to see his family dead. Well, everyone except Nezuko, so he rushes her down the mountain, and halfway down the mountain, she attacks him. And that's when he finds out that she's a demon. Then a demon slayer by the name of Giyu Tamiyoka appears and tries to kill Nezuko. And with that being Tanjiro's sister, he protects her. When he tries to get Nezuko back, Giyu knocks him out and Nezuko breaks free and protects Tanjiro. Seeing this, Giyu decides to let her live. He tells Tanjiro to go up Mount Sagiri and find a man named Sakonji Odukodaki. After a quick test, Odukodaki agrees to train Tanjiro. After a year of running up and down a fucking mountain, Tanjiro gets a final test, which is cut through a fucking boulder. That's when he meets Sabito and Makomo. After six months of training with them, Tanjiro was finally able to cut through the boulder. And with that, Tanjiro is let into final selection. During final selection, Tanjiro faces the demon that targets all of Odokodaki's students. And with Tanjiro being the main character, he cuts that bitch up into Takoyaki. Soon after that, Tanjiro gets his first mission. Soon after, soon after completing said mission, he smells the same scent he smelt at his house. When he catches up to him, he finds that the man that killed his family is none other than Michael Jackson. That's not his name. Okay, fine. We meet the main villain, Muzan Kibutsuchi. Muzan makes a distraction and escapes because, you know, he's a smooth criminal. Shortly after, two friendly demons by the name of Tamayo and Yushiro, but we're going to refer to them as the MILF and the Simp. They bring Tanjiro and Nezuko back to their hideout, but soon, but soon after, they get attacked by two demons. Then the Simp does what Simps do best. Lady Tamayo! <laughs> Fucking simps, bro. Moving on, Tanjiro kills the arrow using demon while Nezuko plays fucking kickball with the other one. And when I say kickball, I mean the most fucking intense game of kickball you've ever seen in your life. I'm serious, like, look at this. <laughs> Shortly after that game of kickball, the, the demon says Muzan's name, which activates the curse he puts on all demons. And he kills her. Tragic! On the way to the next mission, Tanjiro meets the best character of the show. Zenu 2 Agatsuma. He's a scared crap baby, but still he's the best character. When they arrive to the when they arrive to the place where the demon is hiding, they find another demon slayer wearing a boar mask going wild and all over the place. Oh you niggas that sleep on Zenu 2? Yeah, let's see what happens when you sleep on you niggas back. Thunder breathing. First form. Thunder clap and flash. Back to Tanjiro, he goes up against the former demon of the 12 Kizuki, which is basically Muzan's strongest henchman. With Tanjiro being the main character, you already know he takes that W. When Tanjiro gets outside, he finds the demon slayer that's wearing a boar mask beating up Zenitsu. Tanjiro, Tanjiro gets a little Super Saiyan rage boost and pops that bitch in the gut, breaking a few ribs. Even with a few broken ribs, he gets up and scrapping like he gets up and starts scrapping like the beast he is. The, after a quick sparring match, the boar mask falls off and we discover that he looks like a fucking girl. And yeah, his name's Inosuke Hashibiro. And yeah, he won't smoke with anybody or anything. And with that mission complete, all three of them head off to the next mission. They arrive to a mountain where they find a member of the 12 Kizuki with an overpowered family. So all three of them split up to take on the demons. So yeah, they all... Yeah, so basically they all get smacked by the demons and have to get saved by high-level demon slayers. Yeah, all of them except the best characters in these two. Yeah, you know. <laughs> After a few flashbacks, they're taken to meet in front of the Hashira, the strongest demon slayers there are. They discuss the taboo of a demon slayer traveling with a demon. The boss decides that Nezuko will never kill anybody, so they so they allow them to live. Soon after some training, Inosuke, Tanjiro, and Zenitsu set off to the flame set off with the flame Hashiro Rengoku for the next mission. And yes, and the Demon Slayer season one. Hopefully they release a season two soon in the future because this anime was pretty good. Please leave a like if you enjoy and subscribe for more content. And uh yeah.